There may be a case where you want the subject to get feedback about how they are doing, such as during a block of practice trials. This will also make sure that the response mappings are correct. To do this, we will use a feedback display object to display the subject's accuracy and reaction time. First, click and drag a feedback display object below the Stroop slide object and rename it Stroop Feedback. When you open it up, you will notice that it is similar to a slide object. One difference is that it already has text written on the screen. The at symbols are called macros, which are variables created without the user having to write any script or set any attributes. They can only be used in feedback slides. Another difference is that there are four tabs at the bottom, correct, incorrect, no response, and pending. These each represent different slide states. Which slide state is presented depends on whether the response to the previous slide was correct, incorrect, or whether there was no response. To collect responses from another object, click on the Object Property Pages button. Under the General tab, click on the Input Object Name drop-down menu and select Stroop Slide. These checked boxes here represent which data will be collected from the slide and used to activate a certain slide state. Note that we can also change the duration and input of the object, just like the other slides. For most feedback displays, the defaults are fine. If we click around the feedback display object, we notice that there are three text sub-objects and a background. Since we're doing a Stroop task, and since the subjects are already paying attention to colors, perhaps we should change some of these properties to make the experiment easier to follow. Change the font of the text to white on a black background. Also, change the align horizontal property to center for each text sub-object. Now run the experiment and try making both correct and incorrect responses. An accurate response will activate the correct slide state, while an inaccurate response will activate the incorrect slide state. If you don't respond, it will activate the no response slide state. I hope this starts to build up your intuition about what slide states are and what they can do. In the next video, we'll talk about how to add slide states to the Stroop slide object and how they can be used to make your experiment more flexible.